So today, our work is related with the physical aspect of the root chakra, which would be the genital glands in the male uh, the testicles and in women in the ovary. Yes. So for sure, when we speak about the root chakra, we all agree. What we are talking about is about the, um, the energy of life, the, our vitality inside. Um, but the problem comes when we try to speak about the physical aspect, because it's the place where the, um, the information gets physical, gets stuck in the matter. So the reason why we have these problems with our genitals is because through the history, as I wrote today in the blog, um, we were willing to go to the skies, to the heaven, and leave the earth, the reality. And in such a way, um, we were trying to let behind our nature and the animal side that we have in order to become spiritual and to go up and to think that we are superior to the nature. So in this willing to go up to the skies, there is a kind of um, will of leaving the matter and everything that is related with that um, reality, which is having been born in this world. And this is why from the, how do you say in English? The, so from the belly button down, um, we have this um, with thinking, this thinking that it is so um, earthy, so worthy, um, worldly, I don't know how to say it, um, that is better not to, oh, navel, navel, never, never heard that name, navel, okay. So we, um, um, from the navel, we are attached with the umbilical, um, umbilical cord to the mother earth. So everything that is related with, from that point, navel or belly bottom, whatever, below is not good if you want to be spiritual. This is what was the belief. We have to be aware that this, this belief that in order to uh, go to the spiritual reality, we need to leave the material and the physical reality is something that even us, the people that are working for spirituality and consciousness, had still in ourselves. We believe that in order to that in order to reach the heavens, the other dimensions, we have to disattach from this reality to leave this reality. And this is something that we have mistaken. It's, it's not like that, really. So um, the concept of Disattachment is not to leave away and leave this behind. Disattach is not leaving something, it's to accept the reality. And when you accept the reality, it doesn't affect you anymore because you already know how it works. So you know that you can change it, you realize how it works. And so you accept, you love the reality. So you don't, you don't need reality anymore. When you don't need reality, you are free from reality. And that's disattachment. It's not living. One of the things that we have to do in order to reach that heaven is to love the matter, love everything in the matter. And we can see it, its darkness and its light and see the purpose and the magic in all that. And suddenly when we love the creation, when we start to love what we have created, we understand what we have created, so we let everything go. We feel f free from that. We love the matter, so I don't expect anything from matter. So I disattach. So it's totally the opposite to what we usually are doing. To believe that in order to be enlightened, we have to leave away the matter. And no, in order to, to transform our reality into light, we need to unconditionally love matter because the only thing that makes you free from something is when you don't expect anything from that something and that's unconditional love. People from the spiritual world, what we are 
doing here and right now is not to work so we could so we could go into the fourth the fifth or the sixth dimension we are doing all this to awake the fourth the fifth and the sixth dimension here and now <laughs> 